So as part of our Attorneys of Color Success initiative, we got a lot of data out of that. But a key insight to us was that half of our associates of color were first-generation Americans. So we looked at this intersectionality, which totally surprised us, and we said, well, maybe we can take advantage of that. Maybe these attorneys, these associates, can leverage that to better serve our clients and to build their practices. I'll be honest, I'm probably the only Muslim woman in hijab that many of my colleagues know, and maybe the only Muslim person that they know. So I go to one of my mentors and say, I think Shepard should host an iftar. And he's like, great, let's do it. What's an iftar? <laughs> so iftar is the traditional breaking of fast during Ramadan. Then it's really a dinner party. Several of our attorneys were skeptical of the iftar before it happened. Afterwards, they were very excited about it. Our clients thanked us and thanked us for inviting them. It really was amazing. And I got a client out of it. <laughs> and then we said, well, the flip side of that is, let's also make sure that they've got all the support they need. So we decided that we should make sure our writing program was completely supportive of them. And we beefed that up. After joining Shepherd Mullen, I realized that my identity of being multicultural bilingual uh, Korean is also a huge strength because I was able to relate closely with the clients. Guy Holgren. You don't yes. think of Swedes being discriminated against, right? My father was born shortly after my grandfather immigrated from Sweden. And he told me those stories about growing up in North Dakota and being called Greenleaf and having people discriminate against him because he didn't speak very good English. And so I think that's always stuck with me.